MMS question based upon transactions and system recovery. We are having a database system that crashes again while recovering from a previous crash, which means we are facing a crash inside a crash kind of thing. Before we could recover from the first crash, the system once again crashes for the second time. So in this scenario, we have to assume that checkpointing is not being implemented by the database either during the transactions or during the recovery. So in such a scenario, if we are not even having the checkpoints, how will we perform the recovery? So based upon the situation, then we have to identify which of the given options is or are correct. It is an MSQ type question. Let us first understand how exactly this recovery will take place. So as it is given that there are no checkpoints. So without checkpoints, what is the other option we can use for recovering? we can use the system logs the log records that are stored and as a result of which we will be performing log based recovery in this and what exactly happens in this log based recovery in log based recovery we have two terms we can either undo a transaction or we can redo a transaction when do we undo a transaction let us say when a transaction had started then the crash took place over here and the transaction had neither committed nor it had aborted so it has simply started and then this crash happened before it could either commit or it could abort in such situations those transactions are to be undone when do we perform this redo when a transaction had started and along with that it had either committed or aborted and after that there was a crash so if such scenario happens that a transaction had started and it had completed completed in the sense either commit or abort both are allowed so for such a transaction if this crash takes place after it has finished then we have to redo that transaction so this is how we perform the recovery using system logs so let us consider an example over here let's say we have three transactions p q and r and let's say all of three all three of them are executing but p and q have already committed or let us say p has committed and q has aborted r has done neither of them and then we face this crash one so now after this crash one what will happen we will try to perform this log based recovery to recover from that in that what will we do we will say redo p and q undo r that is what we will be trying to achieve because p and q were finished using either commit or about we will try to redo them and r had done neither so we will try to undo that r and in the meantime while we were doing this the crash to take place so at this time what will happen we will be using the same log records which we were using after the crash one so there are no new logs created because all the three things were proceeding with their executions so we will have to use these same log records again and just as it is given here in the option one the same undo and redo list will be used while recovering again which means from the second crash we will again use the same log records and what do they say that we need to redo pq and we need to undo r so the same thing will be done again after the second crash and that is how we can perform the recovery so yes it is possible to recover from the system so this option one would be true the second one is saying that we cannot recover any further no this is incorrect recovery is possible using the log records so that's wrong all the transactions that are already undone and redone will not be recovered again this is uh, again incorrect because here we are having both the transactions that are already undone and redone let us say before this crash to assume that this P had committed successfully if that happens and then this crash 2 takes place 
but because we are again using the same log records what does those log records say that we need to redo p so even after this p was committed before the second crash itself it will again be recovered will again be redone for the second time so this option 3 is also incorrect because we are not actually concerned with what happened between the crash 1 and crash 2 we are only concerned with whatever was the scenario before the crash 1 and based upon that only we are performing the recovery for the second time so it does not matter which of them actually had redone or undone between them so lastly the transaction will become the database will be in the inconsistent state this is again incorrect because when do we have inconsistency in the database when we have the same variable that is taking two or more values in different transactions here the thing is we are not reading or writing anything from the uncommitted transactions we are simply trying to redo them or undo them based upon the log records whichever were stored before this crash one had taken place so here we don't have any chance of inconsistency because simple reason is that there is no read read from uncommitted transactions so the system would be in the consistent state after we perform the recovery from this crash 2 so the only correct answer we have for this one is the first one